Welcome to day five of Biblical Affirmations. We're making it to the end of our first week. And today's topic is one that I am particularly fond of, and that is how to be happy. But before we get into that, I want to make sure that if you're joining us for the first time today, that you know where to get your uh, study guide from. You will find it at thecreatorsclassroom.com. Let me show you what is available. So there are three different options for your study guide. They all are available at thecreatorsclassroom.com. The first option uh, is totally online. You do not have to print out anything. You will find all of the affirmations for each day, the scripture references and links to an online Bible, and <clears throat> the devotional that are available for each day and their links. So all you really need is your own Bible and something to write some notes in. The second option is free. Um, it is a 10 page printable PDF. It is in a <clears throat> calendar format, like you see up here in the right hand corner with each day's affirmations, with the scripture references, and the devotional readings and links to those. The third option is a beautiful biblical affirmations journal. It was designed with lovely ladies in mind. It has um, floral arrangements throughout. Each day you have your affirmation, your scripture. There's plenty of room to write notes. And the uh, devotional reading is also included there with the link to it. At the back of the journal are eight encouraging scripture cards. They can be cut out, laminated, and then put in prominent places to help you remember some of the affirmations. And there is also a bonus. Um, each day we will be showing you uh, in our videos a lovely JPEG file, uh, photo file of the affirmation it's on a floral background, and those will be available to you to use in your own social media if you would like to do that. So today's affirmation is, I take responsibility for my happiness. No one else can do it for me. And those come from Psalm 1611 and Nehemiah 810. I want to look at those scriptures right now. Psalm 1611, you talking about God, make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. And then Nehemiah 810, then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet wine and send portions to anyone who has nothing ready. For this day is holy to our Lord, and do not be grieved, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh, this was written at a time when Nehemiah and uh, many of the Jewish people were trying to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, and they were quite discouraged. Uh, and I imagine, you know, like us, <laughs> when you're discouraged, you don't think it's possible to have joy. But he was saying to the people, the joy of the Lord is your strength. And so when we have joy in our hearts, we also have strength to get through things that are hard. So let's go to our journal, uh, whether you're using um, the biblical affirmations journal or whether you are using a personal notebook or if you're studying online there are a couple of questions that we want to ask ourselves. The first one is, what lie am I believing? So there are a lot of lies. We'll go into that in just a minute, uh, but there are quite a few different lies that people believe about how to be happy. And then um, the second question you want to answer is, how would I act differently if I believed this affirmation? And then there is some further reading I want to do a close-up of that. The further reading is a devotional entitled Life is a Journey, Seven Ways to Enjoy the Ride. I think you will find this article 
um, enlightening. It will help you understand that happiness is strictly related to you and God. It has nothing to do with anyone else or your circumstances. So what are some of the lies that you might be believing? I know that for a long time in my personal life, I believe that if other people would just stop doing certain things, I could be happy. And because they were doing those things, it was impossible for me to be happy. What about you? Are there people in your life that uh, irritate you and steal your joy? Well, in reality, they are not stealing our joy. Our joy comes from within, not from without. Or maybe you believe if my circumstances would just change, then I would be happy. But again, that is not the case. Circumstances only reveal what's already in our hearts. And again, joy comes from within and from the Lord, not from those circumstances around us. And so how would I act differently if I believe the truth, which is I am responsible for my own happiness. No one else can make me happy and no other circumstances can make me happy. How would I act differently? Would I go ahead and do the things I need to do and thank the Lord that I still have things to be uh, grateful for, that I still have many blessings in my life? Would I go ahead and forgive other people who have really irritated me or hurt me? You see, these are things that we do when we believe the truth. So I'm looking forward to hearing from uh, some of you as to which affirmation this week was the most helpful for you. And next week, we'll do it again, starting with day six. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.